Hold your wish and let's get into today's tour. This house is called Modern Retro. I named it so because I think it has a more modern feel to a quite a retro style of build. So when we come into the front door here, as you can see, we have some stairs. Underneath, there isn't a door, that's just windows. Front door is up the stairs. So we'll just pop in here. This is what we see when we first come into the house. We come straight into the kitchen. And it isn't too big, it's just enough for what the Sims might need. I'll just give you a little look at the front door. So this house was built on a 30 by 20 lot in Willow Creek. It's a four bedroom, three bathroom build and it comes in at 190,330 simoleons. This is also purely a base game build. So everything you see in here is all base game. The paintings were done by The Sims. So I'm not sure if they'll show up in the gallery, but they should do. So we just have some kids things about. It's super colorful, I'm sure you can see, because this is the family home of The Sim who lived in the Playful Starter home, which tour is also on the channel. So we just had a living room there. And if we come back here, we have two doors. If we go straight into this one, we have just a small bathroom, the bathtub. And if we go through this one, we have a slight corridor and then the quadruplets, I think they were. So this is, this caters for four toddlers, but I don't know how often people have four toddlers in the game at once. So you can always just delete the beds if you don't have that many and we have some nice views out to the back there for the kids I don't like how those stickers glitch out but what can you do so if we look back at the front door we come through here past the kitchen past the dining table across past the living room and we have the stairs back here so let's just go down and see what we've got so first thing we see is the home office area, just a little PC desk and a bookshelf. Over here is a little skill building section, mainly for the kids. We have the chess table and then we have the drawing and the signs and then a couple of pieces for the adults to use. We have the bar there and just through underneath the stairs is the back door to get to the back garden. So we come round this way, first we have a children's bathroom. I always tend to put baths in a bathroom that's intended for children only or to be used for adults and children. I don't know why, because Sims can't slip in the shower, but I just feel like it's a safety thing. So this is the first bedroom we've seen downstairs. This is a single kids bedroom designed for a little girl, however, Use it for whatever sim you like. She just has a little desk there, a nice violin, and she just hung her artwork up there. It's, I, I chose, there's some leaves clipping in there. I chose not to put any electronics in the bedrooms because this house does have a nice entertainment space for the whole family upstairs. This here is the home gym. Just has one treadmill, one boxing punch bag, and one weights machine and then if we come back out into the hall and if we come down the stairs and turn left and go straight that way and to the right we have a single bedroom again which is designed for a boy but again you can use it for any age or gender of sim this looks familiar to some people who may have already seen the family house tour, family fun house tour. That's because I basically replicated the bedroom. It was for the same sim, only this was as his child self. And then when he, they moved, he grew up and his teenage self stayed in the next room. I'm not sure if it was included in the video, but I think it was in the screenshots. 
and here's the master bedroom if you recognize that wallpaper from the playful starter house tour i wanted to keep that in as kind of a running theme for this sim uh through here if we turn left when we come into the bedroom we have just a little en suite and you can see out to the street there a nice small section for the sink and then through the bedroom you can access the home studio and here I decided to add in a potty and a toy box so that when the kids are at home if they're having like if they have toddlers then the mum can look after them while she's working in the studio so we just have a couple of easels or four and a workbench and as you can see I did forget to delete that light when once I had built it but we don't have a ceiling here so from the gym and the studio you can see up to the front door inside and out and then over towards the dining area so if we just go back outside and we come to the back door turn left we see the pool I wanted to keep it quite simple unlike other builds where I've enclosed it all with fencing I decided just to make the, the pool a little bit private and especially since it's on the street just put that there so that there's still light and it's not too enclosed but there's just a little more privacy the barbecue and then some monkey bars for the kids a little seating area we've got a wee bench underneath the roof there and a telescope around the back here we have some pretty nice views I would mind living here but that's pretty much the build in its entirety I really enjoyed building this this was one of the very first family home builds I did in The Sims 4 and I think it was probably about my second actually the very first one there you can see the studio from ground level and the, the gym as well the very first house build I did actually wasn't saved because I did it on a laptop and I then downloaded custom content and the custom content wiped my game so I hope you enjoyed this build it is up on the gallery for you to download it's under the user ID Scribble Scots and the home is called Modern Retro if you enjoyed it give the video a like give some comments some feedback uh, go find it on the gallery, download it, use it for your families and I look forward to being back with the next video. Haste you back!